There is no room, place, or time for romance in business. What I mean by that is don't fall in love with your product or service. Yes, respect it, especially if it's a personal thing and you're a smaller business, and this is something that's been passed on to you from your parents, your grandparents, and so forth. Yes, it obviously has a deeper meaning than just a product or service that generates revenue and income for you and your family or your employees. What you need to do is be very mindful about the environment that you operated in and the competition that keeps emerging. You cannot be romantic about your product or service. If it worked in a particular way for the last decade or two, it may not work the same way going forward. So you need to be true to your mission, vision, and values your core integrity as to who you truly are and what your business stands for. But be open-minded to how your products and services could potentially be augmented, reimagined, redesigned, supplemented with other solutions, partnered with other companies, or perhaps even certain functions outsourced to someone else who does them better. Focus on what you truly need to do, what you're good at, what you're best at, and what market wants and demands. The other things need to be either stopped, decommissioned, outsourced to somebody else, or they need to be given smaller share of investments, revenues, and time if you need to maintain them for some reason. So don't be romantic about your journey to today because your path that you need to follow and take and be on tomorrow might be completely different. Respect your mission, vision, and values. Stay true to them, but don't fall in love with your industry, your product, or your service. Things change. So should you. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, Leave your thoughts and comments below the video on the topic I just covered. Have a great day.